Welcome back to Bloods of Eternity. So, it's been a very long time since I last played this. Um, almost a year, I think. I got very ahead with recording. So, I don't want to do something important immediately. So, I have had a brief look through the quests that I've still got to do. So, I'm thinking I might try and do the long hunt. Or, what was it, a mother's plea? So if I can find out where the compass is, or the cliffs, that would be a good place to start to so actually get used to these characters. Um, I think I might swap out the bonus. No, I'm going to keep him. Because I need to travel with Durance at some point. But he's not very useful. Or at least I haven't found him useful yet. Um, right. But yeah, I think south of here is somewhere I can go to get to the cliffs. I'll stick on fast mode. But yeah, I got incredibly ahead with recording this series. Which was quite nice because it meant I could record everything else. Ah, I was right. So I have had to play and play as other characters. I played it about six months ago, I think. So I've done things in different orders and all sorts. And I've realised I haven't levelled up my characters very efficiently. But that's fine. Uh, but a new place to explore, and there's people already. So Endrang, Tilly. Are they going to be suspicious of me? Is there sounds like a stop one of the tide pools? They look at winded, so they might have been attacked. So if you're here for fishes, we are strangely you want to avoid the compass proper. So southeast, so yeah, down there. So a lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't see much of the wreckage until we heard something, because there's some monster. They thought it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. So it's an undead. So they're fishing, but he threw his fishing rod. So maybe we can go and retrieve his fishing rod for him. So they were looking for tide pools. They thought they'd tried their luck down by the rocks. And there's a lot of shipwrecks here. Um, it's a lovely place, but dangerous to anything sailing. So, walking corpses. That's fairly normal to us. Uh, do you hear that? Are we about to be attacked? It says Zurek. Right. I said everyone attack normally. Okay. Take all of that. Right. Do they have anything more to say or are they just off home? Okay, right. This is a fairly small area, I think, compared to some of the others. Right, so that's just away north. That's a tide pool. But it's not much to relearn other than all of the characters' abilities. So what have we got? I must have leveled up last time, so I don't remember half of these. So you throw that. You throw that. I'm taking guesses of where they're going to be. What have you got? Into the fray. Okay, you just go and actually knock them down. That's a thing you can do. You've got a gun. Designate a simple target's prey. Sure. And then the wolf just goes to attack. Oh, you're a complicated one. Um, you just go and whack them for now. I'll figure you out in a bit. So he's got a spirit shift. And he's got a whole load of spells. Okay. Right, move out the way. I want to loot the body. Okay, there we go. So 
So I'm guessing that's the border of their camp. But I'm bird scored. And he, he looks like he's inside some sort of arena. So that is some kind of markings. Come on. There we go. Um, it's kind of us to stop and speak. I mean, that's kind of what we do. Let's see another kid since his ship went down. Are we looking to lighten our purse? Is he selling stuff? So he's putting out a bird school and chronicler of the Huana people. So they were transporting ship, uh, goods from the dead fight of Defiance Bay. Dead fight? That is from the second game, I think. Because it's Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Interesting. He might turn up in the next game. Which I haven't played yet. I'm planning to wait until I finish this first. So the ship's cargo could uh, the Deadfire and a few personal trinkets. Sure. What have you got? So I have got a fair amount of money now. I guess I could sell some of my stuff. I don't really need a door. Oh, I don't need to double click. Uh, that. I kind of want to keep that. Because that looks like a fun weapon. Well, I don't think I need to keep any of these tones. That'll probably do. Right, what have you got? So you've got some fine weapons that are all a bit too expensive. Tricorn hats, duelist hats. It's a war club. And a fine pistol. That could be interesting. So got an average of 30... Four. So if I trade all of that for some money, there we go. Um, what does your weapon do? I think that's pretty much the same. Well, that does what, thirty-six, thirty-five. That is 35, so more than the pistol would do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. So, not really worth buying from him. Okay. Aha, so it was marking a camp. Ranga, is that who we're looking for? Hello. Mother Ranga, there we go. We have found the right place. So we find ourselves facing a towering Amaoma woman. That's going to be one gold brown of dying sunset. So have we come for medicines and crossworks or to share the fire? Um, let's get straight to business. So she knows about Lord Raedric. So I'm kind of come all this way. She must be beside herself. So she doesn't need coin. That's an odd way to do business. Oh, she needs us to do something for her instead. Okay. So there's a Zorak tribe to the northeast, led by one of their priests. Town was exiled from there some time ago, and the scouts still lurk around this place. So northeast, top right. We haven't been there yet. So one day she'll have to go for supplies. She will come back to find her assistant slain. So the Zorok's helping her. Okay. And she'll give me something else if I do. Okay. Can I... Yeah, I want to buy something before I go. Uh, camping supplies. I need one more camping supply. It's pretty perfect. There we go. 